Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a player's speed increase when they touch a part. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we want to head to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. So now that we've enabled Explorer and Properties, we now want to go and make the part that the player is going to be running over, which will then increase their speed. So this will be the part that the players run over. So we're going to make it relatively thin. You can customize it to whatever you want. I'm just going to make it just like that. Do a bit like that. Just kind of like that. And we'll change it to a, let's go a light blue, something like that. So once you've finished customizing the part, we then want to click on the part. And then we want to go and click the plus button next to the part and insert a script. Once you've inserted the script into the part, we then want to go and remove all the previous code that is in the script. Then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio and paste it into the script. So control V, right click paste and paste in the code. So now that we've inserted the code into the script, we are able to adjust a couple things. So here where it says the walk speed equals 32, this is double the normal walk speed. So the normal walk speed, which is default set into a Roblox game is 16. So I've already set it to 32 because 16 plus 16, 32, I've, so I've doubled the walk speed. So if the um, humanoid touches that um, this part over here, their walk speed will be increased to 32. So once you've finished adjusting the walk speed, you want to go up here and click X next to the script. And then we want to go and click play and load into the Roblox Studio test place. As you guys can see, we have just loaded into the base plate. And if you remember, our script is originally set to a walk speed of 32. So this walk speed right here currently is 16. But the moment we go and touch this part, our walk speed will be 32. As you guys can see, our walk speed has dramatically increased. And let's say we had to go and reset or, or fall off the map or, or get killed in some way in Roblox. Our walk speed will be set back to 16. And then the player will have to go over that part again to get their walk speed of 32. So let's say you wanted the player to walk even slower when they touched or walked over that part. You just want to set it even lower than this. So as we said before, the original walk speed is 16. So let's say you wanted to make it even slower. You just go anything below 16. So I'll give you guys one more demonstration. So our current walk speed is 16, but I've gone and set it so when we walk over this part, our walk speed will be changed to 8. So this is current walk speed of 16. The moment we walk over this part, our walk speed will be changed to 8. As you guys can see, it is a lot slower compared to the 16. If you are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.